There is a small but persistent group of people in the eastern Indonesian province of Maluku who have been pushing for independence. The protests are peaceful and they often uh, involve displaying their uh, rainbow flag. But while the protests might be peaceful, the response from the Indonesian police has been typically quite brutal. Beatings, torture and humiliation have been commonplace. This footage of Malukans being punched, kicked and paraded semi-naked through the streets was taken in about 2003. But the allegations of torture of detained activists continue. And recently they've included repeated claims that members of Detachment 88, the country's famed and elite counter-terrorism unit, that has been funded, trained and equipped by Australia, the US and other countries, has been meeting out the brutal treatment. In 2007, a group of Malukan protesters audaciously snuck into a National Family Day ceremony where Indonesian President Sisilo Bangbang Yudhiyono was attending. The local police were terribly embarrassed and about 70 of, these Maluk of, of the Malukans were hunted down and detained. Many of them say they were subject to terrible beatings and other torture and they say it involved Detachment 88 members. I've learned that the US government quietly banned the Detachment 88 officers from Maluku from receiving any more US assistance, an extraordinary act that the US declined at the time to reveal publicly. That ban continues, but so does allegedly the brutality now involving new Detachment 88 officers sent to Maluku. Just last month, a group of men planning to send dozens of flags attached to helium-filled balloons into the sky have been rounded up by authorities. Their protests, cheeky, provocative, but entirely peaceful, was uncovered just days before it was to be undertaken. Again, when President you know, Udiano was to be in Ambon, along with hordes of foreigners. The allegations of the men are serious. They say they were repeatedly beaten with fists, feet, wooden sticks and bars. At least two of them have been hospitalised, and some of them said their heads were covered with plastic bags until they almost suffocated. Indonesian police deny the claims. But the evidence and a long history of brutality in the province suggest otherwise. And the Australian government says it too is concerned by the allegations and has raised them with the Indonesians. But it won't confirm or deny whether it too has stopped training the Maluku-based members of Detachment 88 like the US government has.